Well, since COVID times, there's many people that have had a good look at uh, where they live and can they change their lifestyle? Do they want to work from home? Uh, do they run their business from uh, another place and work differently? So uh, it often falls to me as the, the owner of the leading real estate company on the South Coast as to what is the state of play as far as property is concerned. So let me just go through uh, where we find ourselves on the South Coast. We really fit in the bracket of the coastal style living and that is part of uh, the big four really as I see it is the Cape area, uh, then there's the Eastern Cape area and of course the Durban and North Coast region. So how do we compare to those? Well, one of the questions always asked of me is, what's your crime like? Well, I look at the other areas around South Africa and I read a lot about uh, the crime that happens up in the Gauteng area, Limpopo and Pumalanga, but I also read about what's going down in the Cape. It's one of the hotspots of uh, crime in the world, as beautiful it is, as it is. So uh, the Eastern Cape have also got their challenges, as have the North Coast. So I'm not too concerned that we're far away from that. We don't have major hijackings. Yes, there's petty crime on the coast, as there is around the world, but um, we, we're pretty spared from that. It's not consistent, hard crime where there's lots of hijackings and you know those kind of stuff happening. Well, I'm, I'm often asked, what's the infrastructure like in terms of water supply? Well, we've seen over the years, the Cape really battled with that. In fact, they ran out of water. Right now, the Port Elizabeth area is really gripped in a, in a battle to find out some more water. Um, there's issues there. On the north coast, uh, they haven't got as bad issues, but certainly the beaches are full of E. coli at the moment. And uh, after the recent storms, a lot of damage was done there. So they've got their challenges. As far as affordability is concerned, well, we always look at uh, selling a property and buying elsewhere a similar property, a like-for-like -like pricing structure. Now, uh, it's become pretty difficult to uh, sell up a property elsewhere in South Africa and move to the Cape, as beautiful as it is again. It's extremely expensive. Uh, Eastern Cape, well, down in Plett, Muscle Bay, George, Neisner, um, it has become a very expensive place to live, as has the Mslanga Belita areas. And they're all beautiful and fantastic to live at. But in terms of affordability, well, you're going to go a long way to beat the value on offer on the South Coast. So that's good news for us. We really compete in that space. Where we find ourselves now, I've been living on the coast for almost 28 years. And I've owned the Remax franchise where we've got five branches for over 14 years now and seen a lot of movement in the real estate business. And over this time, I've not seen as big an uptake that people are looking to come down and make use of the, our facilities, enjoy their lifestyle at an affordable price. I'm also seeing developments happening. First time in a long while that I'm seeing three massive, huge, game-changing developments that are taking place that are really going to change many of the areas where they're in, supply work to many people and provide a home and a good price and an affordable price. So I'm seeing these developments, they're lifestyle type villages and um, I'm just loving the fact that uh, there are developers out there that have noticed that there's good value to be had on the south coast and I have no doubt they're going to attract many developers over the next while. I know there's another huge one planned that's in the making and that'll also be a game changer. Now, that has been, for me, a real uptake um, in, in, in the developers feeling confident to put their money on the South Coast. There's something else that really changes uh, my outlook on the coast dramatically, and I'm loving it. What I'm seeing is a movement amongst the people who live on our coastline to really get behind making it an attractive place to live. I travel up and down the coast on a day-by-day -day basis and all the way from South Broome in the south through to Mkomas in the north, even extending to Imams Toti, I'm seeing communities come together and to try and make sure that they increase their investments or better them or keep them as they are and to attract more people to come. The movement called Tidy Towns, which is just one of them, uh, have started in Margate. If you go there today, I assure you, Margate and Ramsgate and Shelley Beach, all the way down the coast, Pennington, Scottborough, right down to Mamsum Toti. Communities have got together and they're cleaning up. 
They're holding the municipality to account. They're holding their communities to account. And they're making sure they clean up places like the ablution blocks, the pavements, the roads, the beach areas, uh, the street uh, verges. All those are being done now. And there's just such a, a great feeling of togetherness that's happening on the south coast at the moment. And I'm really pleased about that because I love living on the coast. It, uh, it offers so much. Um, the great weather, nine months of summer, three months of spring. There's some great whales and dolphins and sardine runs. And I play golf. There's nine or ten wonderful golf courses on the coast. The bowls fraternity, well, every little town's got a bowling green. We've got wonderful hospitals in all the, the towns now. Shelley Beach, you know, Port Shepston, down in Scottborough, Mountain Toti, all got great hospitals, wonderful medical facilities and shopping centers, which um, we all love. So in terms of where we find ourselves in real estate, us as Remax uh, are seeing an uptake from people inquiring, wanting to come down. We're making sales and they've been really good. This month in October was a really good month where people came down, have come down and invested in the South Coast. So I'm really bullish about where we're going. I think it's a great place to live. And I sense it's the time of the South Coast. We've seen Cape Town run hot. We've seen the Eastern Cape run really well. The North Coast has been a great attract attraction to many. But the affordability of the South Coast and what's on offer, well, it's a pretty tough place to beat as a value proposition. So if you're looking to move, come and have a look at the South Coast. It's a great place to live at the moment. And I think in the future, it's a great place to be invested.